tonight on the CBS Tuesday movie. Three available women, one unsuspecting man. I have them bathed and brought to my room. Bonnie, JC, and Ross have a foolproof plan. You're suggesting that we share. But is this? His perfection. The answer to romance in the 80s? It's Bonnie Saturday, Ross is Sunday, and mine on Friday. I'm exhausted. When someone decides... All fair and love and war. It's open season. I think she wants him to marry her. He can't. Someone else yes. might be sharing Richard. Next. cousins and aunts to get anywhere near Roberta. Shall we take our seats? Oh, we're gonna wait for JC. JC will arrive just as Roberta walks down the aisle. Come on, we'll save her a seat. She'll be here in a minute. Ah, there she is. Mm. Well, JC, how good of you to stop by. My client won't get off the phone. Did you bring my earrings? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Thanks. The office really loved them. Anytime. They're Roses. How's Roberta? She's about to defy the statistics. Did you realize that a recent study said that women our age have a better chance of being killed by a terrorist than getting married? Believe me, she's beat the odds. Forget those studies. All that matters is that you meet the right man. It only takes one. <laughs> That's what they say about the lottery, Bond. When's the last time you won a million dollars? <laughs> have them bathed and brought to my room. <laughs> John want to marry me? Gee, that's a beautiful gown, Roberta. I didn't have a wedding gown at my wedding. I didn't have a wedding at my wedding. Hey, there's no sense in letting a good bottle of champagne go to waste. Why should I have champagne when I have real pain? Oh. This is so awful. This is gorgeous. This is awful. No, John is awful. You are wonderful. This is Crystal. Do these gifts really have to go back? You don't have to return my present. It's towel. They're not monogrammed, are they? I simply couldn't bear to see that big H every morning. No, but you might want to return the hisses for more hers. Oh, God. Just face it, huh? These men are awful. I don't know. Sure they are. You remember Bonnie's last guy. Excuse me. 
Oh, you remember Bond. Wasn't it Tom who left you for Billy's babysitter? No, that was Stan. Tom was yeah. the architect. Oh, you mean the one who ran off to Europe to become a woman? No, that was Bill. Your friend, Wilhelmina? She's a knockout. Oh, good old Tom. You remember, he was that guy that I met at the Est seminar. Oh, right. He's the one that said, you're okay, but you're just okay. I'm looking for someone terrific. <laughs> Do you remember Sean? Oh, yeah, the 40 year old rock musician who left you for the 12 year old. <gasps> she was 19. Well, who could blame him? I mean, she used to hang on the edge of the stage. Oh, I know, with all that young skin all over her yeah. face. See, Roberta, you're not alone. Well, at least Tom was honest. It took Sam about two months before he happened to mention that he was married. And then two years before you happened to leave him. Okay, so it takes me a while to get it. I thought I loved the man. <sighs> yeah, and I thought I loved Georges. I could have told you he'd be trouble. I try not to date any man whose name ends in a vowel. Well, he was in trouble. His girlfriend was trouble. He told me they were having an open relationship. Wasn't she your hairdresser? Oh, yeah, she made my hair green. That's right. That wasn't a bad color on you, Roz. Ladies, now what? Let me tell you something. I've been married and I've been single. And I've never known a man to be there when you really need him. Yeah, like on his wedding day. Seriously, I've absolutely had it with them. Well, they're selfish and they cheat and they lie. You, not to mention them. Hey, girls, catch. <laughs> <laughs> 